the capsular pattern of the shoulder is a very specific clinical image. In fact, we find a limitation of movement in three different directions. The most limited movement is going to be the passive lateral rotation, followed by a limitation, a less limitation of glenohumeral abduction, and the movement which is least limited is going to be the medial rotation. Another important detail is the end feel of the movement. If we go to the end of the movement, we find the limitation and the end feel is rather hard. That's more typical for arthrotic changes. If the end feel is muscle spasm end feel, then this goes together with an acute lesion, most likely an acute arthritis. Let's imagine our patient is suffering from a shoulder arthritis. Well, it is important to know which type of arthritis we are talking about. For instance, uh, is it a traumatic arthritis, or is it a steroid-sensitive arthritis, or is it a bacterial arthritis? There are different options. But once we talk about arthritis, it's also interesting to know in which stage the arthritis is. And in fact, we describe three stages. And how do we come to this conclusion? By using some questions in the history. Do you have pain at rest? Can you lie on that side? And is there radiation of pain that goes farther than the elbow? Well, if the patient gives three favorable answers, so I have no pain at rest, I can lie on that side, and there is no radiation that goes further than the elbow, and you find the image of an arthritis, remember, capsular pattern plus muscle spasm end feel, then we talk about an arthritis light or arthritis stage one. The other situation, if the patient says, I have pain at rest, I cannot lie on that side, and there is a lot of radiation of pain, in combination again with the capsular pattern with the muscle spasm end feel, then this is an arthritis heavy, an arthritis stage 3. And this is very important because the treatment strategy of an arthritis type 1 is totally different than the treatment strategy for an arthritis type 3. In a type 1, you can very easily stretch, capsular stretch, exercise, mobilization, which is all forbidden in a type 3. In a stage 3, it is impossible to do this. We need something else. For instance, manual destruction techniques or intraarticular injections, which sometimes are a very good option. Any combination for instance, two times a favorable answer, one time unfavorable, or two times favorable, one time unfavorable, this is then a stage two arthritis.